trans, though. I wasn't. I, what happened was I went to the hospital for a tonsillectomy. <laughs> And they were running a sale. <laughs> Buy one, lose two. <laughs> and I did it late in life too. I, I, you know, I was pretty old when I did it. I, and so I got, I didn't get to do all the fun things that young girls get to do. Like, you know, like go to the prom. You know, make less money than men. <laughs> get sexually harassed by Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> when I came out. Boy, you should have been there for that conversation. <laughs> I took her to a nice restaurant out in the open because I wanted eyewitnesses, you know. And I said to her, honey, listen, uh, there's something I have to tell you. And she goes, is it another woman? for guys that have their own attached. Now hear me out. <laughs> I do, I feel bad. If you were a guy in the audience, have your own attached, and I, wanna, I just wanna say I feel bad for you because, oh, I, people say is it hard to be trans and it, because they think because of the whole, like me not having it, that's the problem. Like, no, I think it's fucking great. It's fucking great because basically, I wanna just say when I got to get, when you get together with someone that has their own attached, basically you get what you get. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of a grab bag out there. <laughs> But if you go out with me, we'll get you what you want. <laughs> uh, I do like to tell people that I'm trans. Some uh, guys especially can freak out when I tell them, you know, like, uh, my uncle told me, he's like, uh, I don't ever want to watch you do comedy because I don't want to see you talk about having sex with a man. So I just send him pictures. I'm like, this is us on my couch. This is us on your couch. So one thing I don't talk about, I don't like to talk about, you know, what's down below, right? Because it's kind of personal. But also, like, I'm totally going to hook up after this show. <laughs> and what butts a pinata if you know what kind of candy's inside, right? <laughs> Sometimes people say to me, oh, do you, do you miss being, do you, do you miss being a man? Fuck no. No, no. I, I, I miss pockets. I miss pockets a lot. Yeah. Scientists think that uh, they, can, they can transplant a uterus now. They think that's a thing that, that they can do uh, for trans women in the near future, which is very exciting. Uh, it's, so, still can't sew a pocket into some fucking jeans, though, can they? <laughs> so, I'm not sure how much hope I have for that. Uh, when you are trans, people will ask you about about your junk a lot, you know, which is that's not cool. Don't don't be that person. And it doesn't it doesn't matter anyway, you know. It's it it doesn't. It, it, genitals are, are like Mexican food, you know. We we all have the same thing. It's just folded differently. <laughs> I, um... Okay, y'all ready? ready. Yeah. Okay. So the first time I came out, it was uh, I was a senior in college, two more months to graduate. I get a phone call from my father. You know, well, what's going on, huh? But nothing up. But what's going on? Ah, you wanted to tell you we found two men for you. <laughs> two men for me? Up, what for? You don't know what the hell you're going to do after college. You have to get married. Wait, you're trying to arrange my marriage, Uncle? Really? No, but, no you know what? Thank you so much. You're so kind. Uh, I'm going to go now. <laughs> <laughs>
No, no, no. What's the problem, huh? There are two doctors in North Carolina. No, I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm too, super good. Thank you so much. No, no, no. Why, what, what? Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> no, what, I don't have a boyfriend. Then what's the bloody problem? They're brothers. You can pick which one you want. <laughs> <laughs> so glad I have it. I like, no, up, I'm fine. What, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> well, what happened was, I was, what are you trying to tell me that you're gay? I know you're not gay. You, are you gay? I think you're asking a question you don't really want to know the answer to. No, I know you're not gay. You are not gay. Don't tell me you're gay. I know you're not gay. Are you gay? <laughs> yes, up, I'm gay. No, you're not gay. Uh, that's when phone, phones could click. Anyway, uh, <laughs> then two minutes later, my mother gives me a call. Uh, Dilo, uh, so, uh, Appa just said something. <laughs> oh, God. I'm a what? Dilo, are you a gay? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm a gay. <laughs> For how long have you known that you're a gay? Uh, pretty much all my life, Amma. Who else knows that you're a gay? <laughs> I'm a pretty much everybody but you. <laughs> how, how do they know? I'm a, have you seen me? <laughs> okay, so that, then it was like a rough time, moved my ass to New York. But in between, I came and I tried to like talk to my parents. And uh, you know, uh, when they say that, uh, you know, like you would think that if you came out once, that people would remember that shit. <laughs> When they say coming out is a process, what they really mean is that people have selective hearing. Because I came in and I told her, Amma, that girl that you met um, two months back, that's my girlfriend. No. <laughs> Amma, this is not a yes or no question. This is not even a question. What the fuck do you mean? I mean, I didn't say fuck that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I don't push on her own. A uh, little bit, a little bit. Anyway, so I said, Amma, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what, what, what do you, what, do you, what is this? This is not even a yes or no question. This is not even a question, Amma. Uh, what do you mean? No, no, it won't work. I'm gonna, it's been working fine for two years. I'm gonna marry this girl. No, I'm a, what? No, no, she's a Christian. I'm actually in a really weird phase of my transition right now. Now, whenever someone is uh, sexist towards me, I'm simultaneously insulted by the misogyny. They're secretly glad that they acknowledge me as a woman. So I don't really know how to deal you with know, these conflicting feelings, you know? Like someone would say something really fucked up on the internet and, and you know, in public I have to go, oh, how could you? But inside I'm like, oh my God, tell me more about how I'm a dumb woman. Oh my God, really? <laughs> you don't think I'm funny because I'm a girl? Oh my God. <laughs> tell me more. Oh my God. <laughs> I do that voice a lot. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Oh my God. And, and I know it's offensive, but I'm not doing it to be offensive. It's very feminine, you know? And because of that, I'm afraid I'm going to be the first transgender woman in history to like, progress the trans movement forward while setting the women's movement back 50 years at the same time, you know, but like, transitioning into like a horrible stereotype of a woman, just, oh my god, can someone open this bottle for me? It's so hard to open. Oh my god, guys. Someone open that door for me right now. You can call me the C word. I'm one of the good ones.